Hi everyone, this is Sarah Yellowbird from YouTube and today I'm going to do a beauty tag called This or That. So if you want to see that, please stay tuned and keep watching. So, the first question to tag is, would you rather lose all of your mascaras, eyeliners, lipstick, lipsticks and lip glosses or all of your eyeshadows and palettes? The answer to that is, I would much rather lose my lipsticks, lip glosses, eyeliners, and mascaras than my palettes. My palettes are my babies. I've worked really hard on them. They have MAC eyeshadows. I have a palette of Inglot. And I put a lot of thought into them. There's a huge difference between drugstore eyeshadows and MAC eyeshadows, or high-end, or even mid-range eyeshadows, where the difference between drugstore mascara and high-end mascara is very minimal. So I'd rather lose that because in a pinch, I could always go to the drugstore, pick up some clump crusher, and I'm good. So the second question is, would you rather chop off all your hair or never be able to cut it again? And that's easy. I would never want to cut off all my hair. I'm not ballsy enough for that. Um, I've had a bob once, but certainly that's not chopping off all your hair. And I hate split ends, but I just can't even imagine myself <laughs> with a buzz cut. So I think the answer is I'd much rather never be able to cut my hair again. Third question is, would you rather have a coral cheek or a pink cheek? And that's easy for me. I love my coral cheek. As long as it can be matte, not shimmery, I pretty much use a coral cheek much more already than I do a pink cheek. It's much more versatile. The next question is, would you rather apply lipstick as eyeliner or eyeliner as lipstick? And that is easy. It would be really difficult to work with lipstick as eyeliner because I would have to take it out of the tube onto a brush and lipstick is creamier than eyeliner it, I would have to put more work into making it stay and also into I don't even know if I would be able to make it crisp for a cat eye or something so definitely eyeliner as lipstick for sure the next question is would you rather shop only at Mac or at Sephora and of course my answer is Sephora because Mac sells only Mac and Mac's great I love Mac but Sephora sells absolutely everything. It is a wonderland for makeup addicts like myself. Number seven is, would you rather use only one eyeshadow color or one lip color for the rest of your life? And the answer is definitely one lip color, and I know that's not the trendy answer because lip color is really in right now. However, I feel that you can make so many more looks with hundreds of eyeshadows, and of course eyeshadow is my first makeup love, so I'm gonna have to stay loyal to eyeshadow and say I'd much rather have one lip color than one eyeshadow color for the rest of my life. The next question is, would you rather wear winter clothes in summer or summer clothes in winter? Well, I live in New York City and let me tell you, the winters do not play games. It is cold, it snows, it rains, it hails, and then there's dirty slush everywhere when it melts. So it's, it would be really, really difficult for me to wear summer clothes in the winter because I would be frozen. And being very cold, if, if you live in LA, you might not know, but it hurts. Your nose hurts, the wind chill makes your ears hurt, your nose hurt, just your cheeks, everything is red, frozen, your fingers can't move freely, they just stay frozen in place, and it's just... How can I wear a summer dress in the winter? It just wouldn't work out in New York City. So I'm gonna have to go with, I'd rather wear winter clothes in the summer than summer clothes in the winter. The next question is, would you rather have dark nails or bright nails all year round? And I definitely say dark nails because bright nails seem more trendy to me and the colors that are popular change all the time. But nothing beats a real maroon nail. Always elegant, it's always classy, and it pretty much matches everything. The next question is, would you rather give up your favorite lip product or your favorite eye product? And I have to say my lip product because I, not even thinking about what is my favorite lip product, I know that my favorite eye product is the Urban Decay Primer Potion, which looks like this. And it keeps all my eyeshadows on the whole day. I've been using it for years and I would never want to give that up no matter what. It is my holy grail primer. It is one of my holy grail makeup products in general and I would pick that over any lip product that I have or will have in the future. The next question is, would you rather only be able to wear your hair in a ponytail or a messy bun? And I'm going to say a messy bun as long as I can move it from a high messy bun occasionally to a low messy bun or even a side messy bun. Loopholes guys, loopholes. 
The next question is, would you rather never be able to paint your nails again or never use lip gloss? And I'm gonna say never use lip gloss because I barely use lip gloss to begin with. Next question is, would you rather shave your eyebrows and have none at all or sharpie them in every day? That's a really tough question, but I have had a time where I shaved off all my eyebrows and had none at all. And let me tell you, that will never be an option for this girl again. I'd rather have bad sharpied in eyebrows than none at all. I think I definitely would sharpie them in every day. Now the last question is, would you rather live without makeup or nail polish? And I have to say, it's nail polish because I am a makeup addict. I love makeup in all its forms. I'm doing a beauty tag for God's sakes. So I guess I would have to say I will choose makeup over nail polish any day. That's the end of my beauty tag, this or that. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Let me know in the comments what video you'd like to see next. And thanks for watching.